sound is used in storytelling in the same ways that words are used for screenwriting and fabrics and colors are used in costuming. We are leveraging sounds that all of us recognize in service of telling a story, supporting a story, or augmenting a story. So just as a screenwriter assembles words into paragraphs and paragraphs into scenes and scenes into acts and acts into full screenplays, so too do sound designers artfully and carefully and intentionally choose every sound is a word, every word is a sound in the soundtrack of a motion picture, so too do we assemble sounds or design or create sounds in a very specific order, in a very specific structure, for a very specific length of time to achieve a certain narrative effect that feels like the scene that you're working in. So you can also look at this from a very musical standpoint. Sound designers are no different than composers. Composers choose the notes and they choose the voicing for the notes, the instrument that will voice those notes, and they choose the time period over which you will hear the notes, that's tempo, um, and they'll choose the timbres they'll, they'll use and voicings they'll use so that you can hear those notes. Sound design is every bit as deliberate as, and, and as creative. There is never anything arbitrary in a soundtrack. Every sound you hear is there and orchestrated and composed for a specific reason to achieve a specific result, and that's composition. The difference is composers are working within a, a, a sonic milieu that we all recognize. We, we understand what notes sound, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, you, know, you, you know what notes sound like. Sadly for composers, they're restricted to 12 tones. In sound design, we have the universe <laughs> at our disposal. <laughs>